Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today we shall be looking at a very crucial topic in mathematics which is logarithm of numbers. This topic is specifically meant for those in SS1 and SS2 classes. We are going to be looking at the logarithm of numbers greater than 1. Let's get started. Parts of logarithm of numbers. A number of logarithm is made up of two parts of which the first part of it is the whole number part which is called the characteristic. Then the decimal part, beginning from the decimal point, is which is called what? The mentissa. Mentissa is the decimal part of that particular logarithm of numbers. Alright, so let's give some examples on how to look up the logarithm of numbers using logarithm table. Here are some examples. Use logarithm table to find the logarithm of the following. Number one, we have uh, 4,137. We have to find the logarithm of the number using table. The number two, 208.5. We're going to find the logarithm of that number there. All right, so let's get started to see how to look up these various numbers of logs using logarithm table. Let's take number one. Here is number one example. If you recall, we stated that logarithm of a number is made up of two parts. That is the characteristic part and the mentissa, as we exemplify. So to get the logarithm of this number using table, the first thing we get is the characteristic. What is the characteristic part of this number? Characteristic. If you remember how to find the numbers in standard form how to express a number in standard form for example you have a number like this four one three seven uh to express this number in standard form what do we normally do you number it from the right all the way to the left that is zero one two three or you say one two three four what do you do you subtract that four by one the number of digits by one all right, so 4 minus 1 will give us what? 3, of which to express this number in standard form, we now have it as 4.137 times 10 raised to power 3. 10 raised to power 3. All right, so that is to say the power of the 10 in your standard form represents the characteristic of a logarithm. So therefore, the simplest way of identifying the characteristic of a logarithm of number is by identifying the number of digits in the whole number part of which what we have here is one two three four four minus one you subtract an invisible one from it and that will give us what three of which the characteristic of this logarithm will be three i hope this is clear enough that is how to get the characteristic of this number if you have a, another number like this let's say five uh, seven Zero, 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 zero. For example, can you tell me the characteristics of this number? Of which, if we count the number of uh, digits, we now have it as six. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six digits. Six minus one will give us what? Five. So the characteristics of this particular logarithm of number is five. If you press logarithm of this in your calculator, you find out that the answer will start with what? Three. All right, so that's exactly how to look up the characteristics of a number, of logarithm of numbers greater than 1. All right, so let's get the mentissa part. The mentissa, recall that the mentissa is the decimal part of the logarithm. The mentissa, what we are going to do is that the first, out of the four digit numbers here, you should always combine a double of the digits first. In your first statement so we will now say look up 41 is always double digit first look up 41 under 3 difference 7 I'll be showing you how to look up this in the logarithm table
this is a logarithm table as you can see it is written logarithm of numbers all right so and what we have on the board is to look up 41 under 3 difference 7 so as you can see from the table uh, when we talk about 41 we have to look for it under x you can see we have 10 11 12 13 all the way to number 60 well six, uh, 54 here of which it continues in this part we have where we have 55 56 all the way to number 99 as you can see there all right so when we say 41 as you can see on the board under 3 41 we have to locate 41 along this line under x this is what we call under under begins from 0 all the way to 9 that is the one we call under and this is the difference difference ranges from 1 all the way to 9 so as for the one we are solving now we have to look up 41 under 3 41 under 3 let's look for 41 this is 41 as you can see 41 under 3 you can see this is under 0 under 1 under 2 under 3 this is under 3 so under 3 will be along this side so of which we can say that 41 under 3 we give us 6160 as you can see 6160 let's put it down 6160 that will give us 6160 6160 loss because you always add the difference loss 41 under 3 we just identify that 41 under 3 which gives us 6160 as you can see 6160 then difference 7 difference 7 along the line of 41 we have to move all the way to difference 7 this is what we call difference here this is the difference as you can see this is difference one two three four and so on so difference seven should be after this line all right so let's let's locate it from 41 from number 41 and here is 41 here sorry it looks blood and this is 41 so we locate difference seven you can see difference seven here is six difference seven here is six so that means oh sorry that this is difference seven immediately after the line difference seven from 41 and that is seven difference seven is seven here difference seven is seven so we add seven to this number What we now have eventually, when you add the two of them, that will give us 6160, uh, rather 67 this time around. All right, so this is what we'll have when we combine the two together. And remember that logarithm is made up of two parts, of which two parts of the logarithm are the characteristic and the mentissa. So, therefore, the logarithm of the number that we have here as you can see the logarithm of the number 4137 we now be to write the characteristic first three point then the mentissa which is six one six seven and that becomes the answer to this question Give number two a try. Question number two. Here we have another one. We have to get the characteristic first. 
the characteristics of the number 208.1. So the characteristic first. So what is the characteristic of this number? Remember what we usually do? We count the number of digits in the whole number part. A number of digits here are 1, 2, 3. So 3 minus 1. You remove an invisible one from it. That will give us what 2. Of which the characteristic of this logarithm becomes what 2. Alright, so the mentissa, you are familiar on how to look up this. The mentissa. The mentissa, the way we look up the mentissa, that will not be... 20 under 8 difference 5. Remember to combine the first two digit numbers, other ones you take it single numbers. But a, a situation whereby you do not have this point 0.5, for example, you have it as 208. What you are going to do will not be 20 under 8. That is to say, you will not be having difference. But in this case, now we still have a difference there. All right, so what we are going to do is to look up, look up. 20 under 8 difference difference 5. So let's look it up in the table. Logarithm of numbers. This is logarithm of numbers. And we are looking up 20. As you can see here, this is 20, as you can see, 20 under 8. You see under 8 here, under 8. You can see it here. So that will have to locate 20 under 8. As you can see, 20 under 8 reads 3181, as you can see. 3181. 3181. I hope you can see it very clearly. 20 under 8. 3181. So we'll put it down. 3181. Then we have to look for difference. Difference 5 along that line, along the line of that of 20, we locate difference 5. You can see the difference, difference 5. That's the two steps after the first bold line there. Along the line of 20. So that is to say the difference is 11. 11. Difference 5 is 11. So we have to... Add 11 to the number plus 11, and when you add 11 to that number, that will give us 3, 1, 9, 2. Now, therefore, the logarithm of 208.5 will now give us the characteristic first, which is 2 point, then we'll now put the mentis apart, which is 3, 1, 9. So this is exactly how to look up logarithm of numbers using table. I hope this is quite clear. All right. Thank you for listening and give yourself a try in so many questions in your textbooks. Thank you.